Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Yandere Simulator. Now, in the last episode, I asked you guys to recommend me some mods to try out in this game. A lot of you guys gave me a bunch of suggestions. I'm going to try out a few in today's episode, and we're going to see how creative the Yandere Simulator community is. So the first mod we're going to try out is the YouTubers mod. And apparently, I am in this mod. I don't know which one of these guys I am. I'm probably one of these black-haired guys, but a lot of them have black hair. And what oh, the shit. fuck is that? Which YouTuber is this? Hold on, let me take a picture of your scary ass. Who is this? Oh, it's just a bunch of question marks. Okay, let's see which one of these guys is me. This guy sure as hell isn't me. I don't have that goatee. I think I'm this guy. I don't know why. Yeah, that wink, that winky face. Let's see if this guy's me. Tom Gamer. Who the fuck is Tom Gamer? But anyway, that guy's not me. Maybe it's this guy right here with the fuckboy bowl haircut. I am the one, the way you're it's me! It is me! Cub Scouts! Personality evil? Why do I have to be so damn evil? And my crush is Osana. I think if anything, my crush would be like Oka or something. And I have no club. Self-defense incapable? What, am I a little pussy boy? And the additional info says that I tried to hide this fact from others, but his affluent origins are very obvious because of his unusual way of speaking. I think that's the same description as that one guy who has a crush on Kokona. So let's see. Let me check out Jack. See Jack Septicoff. He's a loner. His crush is Markiplier. No club, incapable of self defense, and no additional info at this time. Well, the additional info should be that he's fabulous. Oh my god, this one looks just like Markiplier when he had the red hair. <laughs> Oh man, the person who made this mod did such a great job with Markiplier. That is awesome. If this isn't Markiplier, then I'm gonna die because this looks just like him. Let me see. Yep, Markiplier. Personality, social butterfly, in the gaming club. Shouldn't we all be in the gaming club? Like, all the YouTubers, shouldn't we all be part of the gaming club, not just Markiplier? Self-defense, incapable, and no additional info available at this time. Hey, how come I got additional info? How come I got some weird-ass description about me? I love you, Jay. I love you. I'm sorry, guys. I've never been in a game before, and I don't know how to control myself. Let me end my motherfucking life, fool! Oh, oh shit! Them. I killed the other guy! I killed Get that Tom Gamier guy! <laughs> that was fucking awesome! I smacked my dude straight up in the face. The magic That's wand just dodged me for God knows what me. reason. And I killed the other guy. That's fake, That's guys. I will never touch never my character me. again. He will never die. He is immortal. Can you not talk to other characters when you have a mod on? Because I wanted to get my guy to follow me and I was gonna do some crazy ass shit. But I can't talk to anybody right now. And who is this? Osana fan. Oh, this is the girl that I have a crush on. Her personality is Sundere. Crush Senpai. She should have a crush on me. I should be Senpai. Club art, self-defense, incapable. And no additional info at this time. Okay, so this is the girl that my Cub Scouts character has a crush on. I guess. I'm not really a fan of orange-haired girls, but, you know. Look at me right here, guys. All learning and shit. I know the real me would be in this classroom trying to crack jokes, and the teacher would be pissed as fuck at me. But I got one question, though, about all this. Why do I gotta be next to the creepy-ass girl over there, man? But anyway, I'm gonna sneak out of here. We are gonna fast-forward to lunchtime, and let's see what my guy does. Alright, it's now lunchtime. My dude is right behind Jack Septicai's ass, probably smelling his hair, seeing what shampoo he uses. And my guy still hangs around the same people. So I guess this is the YouTubers mod. It's pretty cool. Thank you to whoever created this mod. This was really cool. It's an honor that you even put me in this mod. But the next mod a lot of you guys suggested is called the No Gravity Mod. Okay, so with this mod, apparently anytime you kill someone, they start to float into the air and gravity does not apply to them. So we are gonna turn on one of the Easter eggs. I think I'm gonna do Ebola mode. And we are just gonna give some Ebola to people. And she's dying in slow motion. <laughs> she looks like she's dancing. Oh my gosh, she looks like she's dead. <laughs> Hold on, let me give Ebola to all these people and I wanna see what they look like when they're in a small conga line with no gravity. Let's check this out. Whoa. <laughs> Ooh, how about if I dismember people in cyborg mode? Oh my god, that is so fucking cool! All their body parts are just flying around in the air. That is epic. Hold on, let me try to end some more lives. Yes! This is so fucking- What?! Budo! Budo can take down the cyborg? 
man, this guy is a beast. What if I kill Kokona while she's making her octodogs? Will I have a floating octodog? Please, for the love of God, have a floating octodog. Let's kill it right now. And octodog? No, floating knife. Where's the octodog? Is it still in her hand? Does she still have the octodog in her hand? She said, even in death, you're not gonna take my damn octodog away from me. There is one more thing that I wanna try since there's no gravity. I wanna try pushing Kokona off. And let's see if she actually gets pushed off. What the fuck? You gotta be shitting me. Where did she go? Kokona? Wait. Where the hell? Oh, she's inside of the school. What the fuck? Okay. Well, let me try to push her again off the railing, even though her shoes are clearly right there. Let me try to push her off exactly off this railing and see if she floats off or if gravity does apply to her in this situation and she lands right on the ground. There you go. Oh, damn, I keep pushing her off in this direction. And then she falls right down. So I guess it doesn't even matter where I push her. She's gonna fall straight through. This time she fell right through the concrete. But that's pretty much the no gravity mod. It was really funny. I like the physics of it. Really impressive mod, by the way. So bravo to whoever made this. Anyway, we have one more mod for today's episode and it's called the A Lot of Things mod. So this mod is really freaking cool because there are so many characters in this game and I believe that all the rivals are in here as well. I don't know why some of them have red and white hair. This hasn't happened to me before. They kind of look like zombies, and it's a little freaky. And we have the ghost girl from the third floor bathroom. What's up, girl? Where are you going? Oh, are you going to go to the bathroom? All right, I'll see you over there. But yeah, I recorded this twice already. It crashed on me when I opened certain doors. And wait, why the That's fuck is this guy bitch. so tall? Is he part of the basketball team? Look how tall this dude is. He's way taller than these girls. Hold on, let me see who this guy is. God damn, this guy's name is probably Bigfoot or something. He's tall as shit. This is Study Coon A. He is a loner. He has no club. And he's incapable of self-defense. Well, good luck trying to hit this guy in the face because he looks like he's eight feet tall. And over here in the student council room, we have Megami. I think that's her name. Megami Psycho. Yeah, Megami Psycho. Her personality is heroic. She's very strong. I think she's one of the last rivals in the game. And this is the girl from the laptop. Her name is actually Laptop John. Really, nigga? Yeah, her parents must have been drunk as fuck when they named her Laptop John. But yeah, guys, there is a lot of things to do in this game. I think that's why it's called a lot of things mod, because there is a lot of stuff. And also, if you spawn the weapons, you get cool items like the crowbar and the chainsaw. And there is also a frying pan down in the drama club. But we are going to test this chainsaw out because it looks cool as shit. We're actually going to try it on Robot Chan because I'm tired of her following us. Mm. And if you guys didn't notice, the chainsaw is basically the circular saw with a chainsaw on top of it. So the circular saw is still the one doing the work. Oh, shit. All right. So right after I killed Megami, the game crashed again. But you can't really blame the game because it is a mod after all. But there are a bunch of characters in here. Like, even Fun Girl is here. She's floating to school. How cool is that? We also have three Midoris over here. I don't know if they have the same name or different names. This one's Midori version 3. I'm assuming this one's Midori version 2. No, Midori version 1. This is Midori version 2? Oh no, it's the actual Midori. Okay. So we have three Midoris just chilling there. And then we have these girls all chilling over here. Who is this girl with a little crown on her head thinking that she's royalty? Himidere-chan. I have no idea who the hell that is. And we also have this girl over here. She got a little attitude. This is Sundere-chan. Let me see if that ghost girl is just chilling over here. Yes, yeah, she is. She's thinking. Thinking if she's going to take a number one or a number two. And she's posing for me. No information on her. All we know is that she's evil! And it sucks that I can't talk to her. Can I kill her? Is it redundant to kill a ghost? I mean, she's already dead, right? Can I kill her again? So I'm gonna take this frying pan, even though it's called a magical girl wand. And I'm gonna smack this ghost up because I'm a ghostbuster, baby! This pan is freaking awesome, though, and I'm gonna give it to him! Blah! I'm gonna give it to every single one of these girls! Holy shit! Holy shit! <laughs> the pan animations! They're fucking barbaric! What the fuck are you looking at with your neck turning and shit? Mm. This frying pan is sick. And when I say sick, I mean sick and twisted. This is fucked up. Alright, I'm back for revenge, Megami. Come get me, Laptop Chan, you bald-headed fuck! Oh damn, she's waiting for me. She said, wait till you stop hitting him with a frying pan. Oh fuck! I can't no. battle someone with a frying pan in my hand! Damn it! So this mod really does have everything. We have this girl right here. 
Her name is Osoro Shidesu. She is the guardian of the dumpster and the incinerator. And over here we have the athletic rival. Her name is Asurito. She's heroic and she has a crush on Senpai. But she better back off him or I'm gonna kick her ass. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I have no idea who this Goldilocks looking ass is. Her name is Galko-chan. No idea who that is. But she has some funky ass hair. Look like she hasn't washed this thing in weeks. And over here in the kidnapping room... We have somebody chilling over here, curled up into a little ball. Who is this? It's Nemesis. Nemesis is chilling in the kidnapping room, curled up into a little ball. I have no idea why, but yeah, let me leave her alone. All right, you go do your thing. I won't judge you. And we have this girl over here pretending to play games. Bruh. You're one of those pretend gamers, huh? Fuck out of here. Who is this? Let's see what her name is. This is Unity-chan. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for this mod. We have this girl over here spying on these two people having a conversation. We also have Infochan looking at nobody. And last but not least, one of the most satisfying things about this mod is the fact that we get to kill Rival Chan that's standing by the tree, who has just been immortal and unusable throughout the whole Yandere Simulator game. So I'm gonna smack her across the face! And of course, Senpai is still a fuckboy, even in a mod. But anyway, guys, that's gonna do it for the three mods that I played in Yandere Simulator. These were the first three mods that I've ever played in this game. And they were all really impressive. So all three of them are going to be in the description box below. Me. And also, for my Yandere Simulator Myth series, I'm not going to use any mods at all. Because it defeats the purpose of doing the myths when you have mods enabled. Because with mods, anything is possible. So I'm going to separate a mod episode and a myth episode. So if you guys want to see me try any more mods, any cool-ass mods that you guys have seen or any new ones that are out that you want me to try, please leave them in this comment section below. And also, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude!